Well, here's a DCF 77 on a long wave, my Kenwood R600. It's coming in pretty good. I'm going to turn this off and I have tuned the same frequency on the FRG 7700. Now that's just with a coax. This is connected to a dipole. Oh, I better change this. Okay, that's connected to the dipole. And it's coming in, but not quite as strong as with the Kenwood. So Andy says that he's learned, and I saw the video where he puts a jumper from the shortwave uh, connector to the BC connector. I guess BC representing broadcast band. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to put you down for just a second. And put the jumper wire on. And now on the FRG77, you can actually... It is a great deal of difference. Uh, it's just unbelievable what it does. And uh, Andy says he got the idea from uh, a video from um, Greg at uh, Hammond Shortwave Radio. But anyway, it's true. It works. And thank you, Andy, and everyone else out there for bringing that to my attention. Uh, that's a really good idea. And uh, so, I think this might be the last video I'll make tonight. And I might watch some TV or something. Or I just may hang out on the radio. So anyway, with that said, Signal Hunter's out.